Um, got some big things coming up, guys, for this weekend. Um, Josh, Joshua Matos, if you guys aren't uh, familiar with him, he's from Genado's Lions. Um, he's actually coming over to my town area, San Jose area, so we're definitely gonna go and kick it. We're gonna go and hang out together. Um, probably go to go left together. Um, yeah, I'm planning to do a, I'm planning to do a, like a mock meet, I guess, a power lifting meet. So I'm gonna do my bench, squad, deadlift, the big three, and just try my one rep max to see what I, what, what the poundages are. Um, I'm not expecting anything like crazy, but um, yeah, I'm planning to prepare for it this week. So my lower hypertrophy days and my lower heavy days, I'm gonna try to work to my one rep maxes and just try to stick with singles. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, I can't wait for that. Um, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I've been putting up. I'm trying to put up at least three videos a week, guys. But um, with work, it's just been kind of hard. But um, I know that I, I want to put out as much videos as I can for you guys because I know you guys enjoy watching the videos. So thank you guys for all the support, really. It means a lot. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. Uh, not big compared to those other bigger YouTube channels or fitness channels, but it's pretty big for me and my brother. Four, almost 4,000 subscribers. So. Yeah, guys, um, feeling good. Waiting at around 158, 159 now. Um, yeah. Talking about my progress, I uh, kind of wanted to announce that um, I'm officially not tracking my macros as meticulously or as detailed. Um, the way I see it now, guys, now that I'm about almost over a year into off-season, into bulking, that is. Um, if you guys see my progress, I've been staying pretty lean, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Really happy about that. But, um, I really, I feel like I don't need to stress out about food during the off-season, which is something I, I'm a, I'm a type of guy who wants perfection to the, to, to the T. So back when I was counting macros, guys, I literally sometimes was like suffering with cravings with food that is like out of my macronutrient range. Even though I was at like 75 fats, 420 carbs, 170 protein, there's still those times at night where you want to eat some more Oreos or something, but you can't because you already had enough too much fat intake, right? Um, um, I'm kind of sick and tired of that. So decided to just, from now on guys, I'm just gonna hit my protein requirements and then fill the rest in with just caloric surplus. Um, for some, I guess this is called the dirty bulking or whatever, but um, I don't think I'm gonna be gaining that much fat, to be honest. Um, I'm still gonna monitor myself, monitor my progress, my, monitor my body fat percentage. But yeah, I'm not gonna be that meticulous and that detailed about the macros. I'm still gonna track some things that I know I can track. Um, foods that I can track, you know, things that I'm gonna eat. Still gonna track those. But just some things that I, sometimes you just gotta live life, right? In the off season. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah.